Time for something new. I'm Richard Tranum of CNET, and this is the BQ Aquarius E4.5 Ubuntu edition. And Ubuntu is a new operating system that does things a little bit differently. So one of the interesting things about Ubuntu is that it uh, doesn't do much with uh, hardware buttons. It's all done on the screen. So this is a version of the phone that's an existing Android model, but with Ubuntu software in it. So it won't actually have these Android uh, familiar icons in the finished version. Uh, it doesn't have a camera button, for example. It just has uh, volume buttons and a power button on the side. So the main difference between Ubuntu and Android and other types of uh, smartphone operating system is that it doesn't necessarily have apps, it has uh, scopes. And they're like home screens where you can have different uh, sources and services and publications all pulled into one place. So for example, here's your Today scope, which shows you the weather, your uh, calendar appointments, some recent messages and recent news, or what's trending, trending on Twitter, that kind of thing. So here's your news scope, which has the headlines from different sources and different publications, so you can see what's going on in the world. And another scope is nearby, which has location services. So for example, you'd pull in restaurant reviews if you were hungry. If you were on the move, you could see traffic updates and, that, and the weather and that kind of thing. One of the clever things about scopes is they combine sources that you might have had to keep in different apps on other phones. So for example, in the Photos app, you've got the photos that you've taken on your camera itself. But then you've also got your Instagram photos on the same page. So as well as being kind of home screens, you can have individual branded scopes made by publishers and services. So here on the music service, we can see the music scope, we can see 7 Digital, SoundCloud, Songkick, YouTube, and so on. And if you want, you can add lots of different sources, GrooveShark, uh, YouTube, and all the rest. And then when you click on an individual one, you will go through to uh, the actual branded scope. So for example, here's the Songkick one, allows you to see events in Songkick made by the publisher themselves. So Ubuntu is controlled by swiping in from different sides of the screen. For example, if you swipe in from the top, you can control all your settings, like uh, network, brightness, battery settings, all that kind of thing. If you swipe in from the right, you can move through all the apps and scopes that you have open at the moment, swipe away the ones that you don't want, and quickly open up the ones that you want to open. Swipe in from the left for the launcher, which has all your favorite apps in there for quick access, or you can go straight back to the home scope. And if you swipe up from the bottom, you can manage your scopes and change the order they appear and show which ones you want to show. So another clever feature is that when you get a new text message, it will appear in the notifications at the top. So you can simply tap on it and reply straight away. So this first Ubuntu phone is going on sale in a series of flash sales throughout 2015. I'm Richard Trenholm and this is the BQ Aquarius E4.5 Ubuntu Edition.